guys so we have our first shipment um, in and I ordered all three shipments so they would arrive pretty much on the same day uh, but because of the quarantine um, FedEx and or UPS they're running a little bit behind schedule on some things so I think my, one of my shipments actually got uh, is delayed one day but that's okay because there's no anthids so I mean they can survive one day no problem uh, so yeah, this first shipment is from TRSC, uh, from Tristan over at TRSC. So I think I ordered uh, two Zoas uh, mushroom from them. Uh, so I ordered like a red or pink interstellar mushroom uh, of Sakura's, Pandora's, and I think they gave me a freebie. I don't remember what the freebie was called. Uh, but so I'm also going to show you guys pretty much how I like to dip my coral. So first things first, get everything out of the bag. And everything was like double bagged or triple bagged which, um, and like heat sealed, which was really nice. Um, so first things first, I start off with Coral Revive. And I put, like whenever I dip something, I don't put the recommended amount. I probably overdose the dip. Um, and that's not really going to hurt your corals in my opinion. It never has hurt any of my corals, so I just throw a bunch of uh, cap full of revive in there with the water that was in the bag, swish them around, you know, take the turkey baster thing and I just like baste in between the corals, all over the corals and stuff to make sure I can get any parasites off. I just leave them there for a little while, come back, switch out the water, um, then I, with freshly mixed salt water, then I do an iodine dip uh, and I just do the same procedure. Um, and typically I dip for about 10 to 15 minutes each dip except for the hydrogen peroxide because that if you leave your um, corals in the hydrogen peroxide too long it will kill them. Um, zoanthids less so you can leave them in there a little bit longer because they do close up very tightly but if you're doing hydrogen peroxide in any other type of coral um, definitely do your research I wouldn't leave them in there for too long at all way less than like eight minutes. Um, and I just like the pretty much baste every now and again to get all the stuff off, all the parasites. And if parasites don't come off with one dip, they will come off with the other dip. So that's why I do like this three dips um, stage kind of thing. I also don't have a quarantine cake, so I kind of have to do it this way to ensure that um, I get like the clean, I get all the stuff off. And this stuff will not take care of Aptasia, so Aptasia has to be taken care of a different way. You can either brush the um, frag plugs and stuff like that, um, and I do that after on occasions, but it still probably won't get the Aptasia off. You're just gonna have to figure out a different way for it. Um, so, yeah, so I pretty much have everything done, uh, and I'm going to do the hydrogen peroxide dip, I believe. Sorry, so the audio didn't record on this. So yeah, I just pour the hydrogen peroxide on them until it starts to like fizz and sizzle. Um, and then I just like gently just blow around them, same procedure, uh, and pretty much just let them, as always I let them sit in there for about like eight minutes, um, 10 minutes, usually put a timer on, and then after that, I'm gonna rinse them out and then they'll be fine. Uh, and then I just put them straight in the tank and they're all good. So the second shipment of coral came from Aqua SD. Now they were having like a giant live sale. So I basically couldn't help myself. I bought a hammer coral, like a gold or gold or yellow branching hammer, uh, one head on sale, freaking awesome. I bought a bonsai um, acro as my first acropora. So we'll see how that goes. It's like a purple base with green pileups. Um, I got some Kato. I needed some more Kato for the refugium. I'm going to try Kato again, see if it doesn't die. Um, and I got a Japanese, uh, like kind of like a blue leather. It kind of looks like a Kenya tree except blue. Uh, pretty cool. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, I might have gotten a couple other things. I'll definitely, if I remember, 
I put them in there and they gave me a freebie as well. And they gave me like this Alvapora, I think, and it's like a really light teal. I think it's kind of bleached actually, so I'll put a picture of that at the end. Um, or actually, I'll just put one in here. But yeah, I mean, I usually don't follow the drip, the acclimation procedures on the um, paper because they're all relatively the same. So I'll dip first and I'll do the same dip for everything except um, less time because these are LPS corals and SPS corals. So with the hydrogen peroxide, I do a lot less time, probably like three or four minutes. Um, but yeah, and then this shipment, I did drip acclimate because of the Agripora um, and the hammer and LPS, they're a lot more sensitive to things. Uh, Alvapor is a lot more sensitive to things. So I did act drip acclimate them for like probably around four or five hours. Um, so I got the shipment in the morning at like 10 and probably ended up putting them in my tank around 6 p.m. Um, but yeah, so I make sure I mix up some salt water to put in there um, in between each dip because I don't want the dips mixing and I don't want um, those dips stressing out the corals and freshly mixed salt water isn't going to stress out the corals too much um, as long as it's, you know, as long as it isn't like fresh fresh you have to let it sit and clear up and the alkalinity stabilize so then a day or two later when they were supposed to come my zoanthids.com shipment came and I, as you can see I got a lot of stuff from them I got a chalice like a, this cool gold chalice this cool like bright orange yellow echinata um, and I got so many zoanthids like I can't even name them all but I will post pictures at the end of the video on the frag rack I will label them on that picture hopefully and yeah so I mean I do I do the same thing I did with the initial zoanthids with these zoanthids even though um, yeah so I mean in a later video I'm going to be talking about vibrant and yeah if it, any questions comments or concerns let me know um, stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy the video